Hey there, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. Now, Qualcomm are holding their technical summit in Hawaii at this very moment, and new details are starting to emerge about the flagship processor that's going to be powering a lot of the premium devices that we see in the first half of next year. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so let's just start with the obvious thing, and that is that Qualcomm have announced that the new processor is going to be called the Snapdragon 855. So we've had the Snapdragon 835, the 845, and then logically this is now the Snapdragon 855. It's not the 8150, which a lot of websites did report, and it kind of became quite popular. Apparently the 8150 was actually the kind of the code name, but the marketing brand is 855, following on from 3545, and now 55. Now we do know four other things about this processor. Not very many details are out yet. We're hoping that we're gonna find out tomorrow more about the internals, but four things we do know. First of all, we know that Qualcomm are pushing the idea of AI strongly in this processor. Now, according to Qualcomm, this is a fourth generation uh, AI platform that we find in the Snapdragon 855. And if it's fourth generation, that means it's going to be based on what went before. So in the third generation was in the 845, and that basically means the Hexagon DSP, which basically means it's got the right extensions in it so that it can handle kind of AI workload. So we're seeing uh, a fourth generation of that in the 855 with a greater throughput. They're saying three times the processing capacity in this new AI engine that we're going to see in the 855. Five. Talking of AI, they're also talking about the fact that their uh, image signal processor, that's the thing that takes the image after it comes out the camera and does things to it, applies all the different filters to it, applies all the different stuff it needs to, and then produces kind of, you know, the JPEG file or the RAW file, that the ISP will have computer vision built into the hardware. When we talk about computer vision, we're talking about things like object tracking uh, and other things like that. Details, again, will come out over the next day or two. And so Qualcomm are saying we're looking at a new era of computational photography and videography. So that sounds quite interesting. So their take on the whole you know, AI for photograph things is to build it into the ISP section of the processor. And the next thing we know is that Qualcomm have announced this idea of the Snapdragon Elite Gaming, which is gonna be a group of technologies all kind of bundled up together that are gonna be about gaming. So that must mean it's graphics and it's gonna be audio and things like that. And again, we're waiting for more details about what that means. And the last thing we know about the Tech Summit is it's all about 5G. Qualcomm are really pushing the whole 5G uh, idea. And according to this image that they have released, it looks as if the 5G modem is not gonna be inside of the Snapdragon 855. Maybe there's a different type of modem built into it, but if you want 5G, you have to use an external modem. And that actually ties in with a press release issued by uh, Verizon and Samsung, which said that they're going to be demonstrating and testing 5G phones using a core core modem called the X50. And the X50 5G modem is an external modem. So it's not something that you get built inside of a processor, it's a chip that you put in the circuit board that can actually handle the 5G stuff. So there you go, 5G yes, built into the processor no. So quickly let's summarize, we're talking about Snapdragon 855, big AI improvements, computer vision, elite gaming, and 5G ready, but using an external modem. Now hopefully we're gonna get more information at tomorrow's Tech Summit, but until then, I'm Gary Sims, this is Gary Explains, and I'll see you in the next video.